My cabinet has been working very hard on trying to get it done. Uh, but ultimately, I think somebody said the other day, uh, I am president, I am not king. I can't do these things just by myself. We have a system of government that requires the Congress to work with the executive branch to make it happen. I'm committed to making it happen, but I've got to have some partners to do it. Ben Monterosto is the executive director of Mi Familia Vota, and Alicia Menendez of the New Democrat Network joins us, along with Frank Donatelli, chairman of GOPEC. Ben, let me start with you. What's your sense in the Latino community? Do you think that they're starting to get fired up? Will they vote in larger numbers than the Democrats had worried they would? Well, we're working very hard to ensure that that is the case. Uh, we've been working since June in Arizona and uh, in other places to start a little later, but we've been walking the streets, and what we find, find now there is that the community is anger. They are frustrated. They are upset. The one thing that they do notice, if they don't vote, their voices are not going to be heard. But and are they frustrated the with President are... Obama, and are they frustrated w with him about immigration? Not necessarily frustrated about President Obama. What the frustration here is that they see both political parties, one trying and the other one is stopping it. So the bottom line is they want to see something happen. Uh, not only the Latino votes, but I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that other voters as well want to see the issue of immigration not being played as a football, but it's something that they have to resolve. So it's not frustration about it specifically about Obama or specifically about one party. It's frustration about the inability of getting this done, and they know and recognize that the only way that we're going to make sure that the votes are going to that the voices are going to be heard is through the through the ballot box. But but Frank, you just heard what Ben said. He said he sees one party as obstructionist. That was the president's message, essentially. He was talking about uh, the, the Republicans who had voted for immigration reform and then wouldn't go there this year because they're in an election cycle. Uh, is that going to work to some extent, painting the Republicans as the party of obstructionists? Chris, let's be clear about what this administration's record is on immigration. This administration has never made immigration reform a priority. It never even introduced a bill into the Congress. It never held a single hearing. So for the president now to say that the Republicans have been obstructing him is ridiculous. Where's the bill? Where's the hearing? Where was there any effort on the part of this administration to do anything about immigration? It's just typical that he blames everybody else but himself for the failures of his uh, own Alicia, administration. You're shaking your head. That's just flat out wrong. I mean, there was a framework in place from Senator Where's Schumer and Senator Grant. Tell me there's the bill. A bill there's a bill that's been no produced bill. by Senator Menendez. Yes, there is. There's no there's bill. bill. Yes, and, and the in president to the had bill, nothing to do with that. We actually had a vote on the Dream Act, and not a single Republican stood up and wanted to vote for it. The so president had nothing to issue? do with the Menendez Let's... bill. But the president the dream, had nothing okay, to do so you, with it. But we do have Dream Act legislation, and we have a Menendez bill, both being pushed by Democrats. Not a single Republican vote, not a single Republican co-sponsor. At the very end of the about. session. Tell me what message that sends to Latino voters. At the very end of the session, when he mm -hmm. had two years to do something about it, mm -hmm. he did absolutely nothing After because Senator people Graham in his own party said they didn't the want to deal with this issue. He's very I good think, about blaming other people. I think Latino voters are incredibly savvy. They know who's on their side. The most critical thing is that they go to the ballot box and they vote at the levels that they voted in 2006. And well, well, they're not they're not at the point uh, yet, certainly of 2008. Uh, that's really there's right. there's still what a, a 20 percent gap. Right. Even Chris, if all the people who say they're enthusiastic uh, vote, even if all the Latinos yeah. who vote, there's still this big gap. Can they at least bridge that gap a little bit? Of, and how do yeah, they no, do it? I just want to be clear and make sure we're comparing apples to apples here. What you want to see is exactly. them coming out at 2006 levels. Those are midterm levels. You know, sometimes we talk about Latino voters like they're different than all other voters. They're not some, you know, special voters. They do exactly. tend to come out at less high levels during midterms. I think what you need to see is exactly what we're seeing. President Obama out there on the stump making his position very clear and drawing a clear distinction between Democrats and Republicans on these key issues. Yeah, Ben, I saw you trying to get okay, in there. I Yes, I'm trying to like basically say what I just heard is the same old same. I mean, the reality is it, the, what the Latino community is frustrated about it, the voters that we have been talking about is what I just heard. People saying you haven't done enough, and on the other hand, the other party is those who have nothing to show other than one, the, the one bill that was passed in Arizona, SB 107. The fact that you have the leading candidates and the in, in rank, high-ranking officials on the Republican Party trying to 
appeal the uh, 14th Amendment. So all of that is being viewed. I mean, in one hand, you can say it.